Two, one. Welcome back into KSL Sports. Mitch Harper here at BYU Football Spring Practice. Here with freshman Ephraim Asiata. And Ephraim just got done with day five of practice. And yeah, I think you had one of the, the best hits of, of practice. <laughs> uh, tell, walk us through that uh, that moment, laying that, that big hit, uh, and how that came to be near the end of practice. Uh, well, you know, I was just trying to do my job. Ball went away from me. Uh, Coach Pop always, he always emphasizes uh, the strain and getting to the ball. So I just try to get off the ball. I see him cut back. He tried to do a spin move. And then the rest, I just, just ran through his face. That was it. So, how, so yeah. How much of making plays like that is just comes naturally to you? Just the instincts of, of playing football? Uh, I say, I think when I, when I do my job, everything just comes to me. And uh, the coaches do a, a really great job of putting me in a spot to make plays. So that's all the, that's all the credit to the coaches. I can, I can say that. Is it kind of surreal? Being five practices in and wearing BYU blue is it is it hey yeah like is it is for for our viewers and listeners out there that might not know your story yet I mean you, you grew up in a Utah family your dad went to played for the U yeah. is it is it kind of surreal like yeah hey, I'm a BYU guy right now <laughs> yeah it's been it's been crazy the first couple of weeks I was I don't know it was just all crazy to me but yeah I'm getting used to it <laughs> I like I like the color blue better anyway so so but it's good I like it here what else we went into the decision to to pick BYU. Uh, I just love the way the coaches um, show love, you know, uh, the way they go about things, emphasizing uh, bigger things past football, and, and that's what I love, uh, you know, trying to make a future for myself and not just for, for football. Um, and how, how uh, much contact did Jay Hill and, and K-Pop have in your recruitment? How, how often were they contacting you and, and touching base and just communicating with you in that recruiting process? Uh, so Coach Pop, he called me every night, every day. Uh, always told me how he felt, so uh, I just felt the love, you know, and uh, that really f made me feel, you know, love. So that that was it. Was it a hard sell for for your mom to, to, to tell your mom like, hey, I'm I'm going to BYU? <laughs> yeah, my mom loves it. My mom loves all the coaches. Everybody shows my mom love, and that's what I love too. If my mom's happy, then then I'm happy. How how uh, would you describe the family environment here at BYU? Like, what makes Kalani's culture so prominent? Because I, I hear it a lot from players in this program. They talk about the culture. What makes it so strong? Um, I say everybody's just just life centered around uh, around God, and you know that's really the main thing. Keeping the main thing the main thing, and Coach Kalani always emphasizes a lot on that. So uh, everybody's just you know treating treating each other like like your brother, you know, like family. So uh, that's just. You know, everybody's everybody's family here. How uh, how close have those relationships been with your defensive teammates? How how strong have those become already since you arrived on campus in January? It's been great. Uh, they welcomed me with open arms as soon as I stepped on here. Uh, everybody says what's up. Everybody does all that. And uh, right now, everybody's you know I know everybody on the team now. Everybody comes up, introduces themselves. So I love it. Everybody's just welcoming, very welcoming. Here with Ephraim Asiata, BYU freshman and. Your story is, is pretty special, Ephraim. Uh, can you, I, I gotta imagine it's, it's at times emotional, but just how much gratitude do you have to just be here in this spot, to have this moment, being playing college football after the trials you overcame to just be here today? I'm very grateful, you're grateful you know. Um, I say prayer every day, give thanks every day, and it's just crazy to me that I can still play this game, and not everybody can play this game, so uh, I just like to give thanks to my Heavenly Father all the time, every time I can. A lot of perseverance, I'd imagine, in, in the battle to, to get back to football. How Can you just, I mean, briefly, just tell us or, like the road it took to get back? Uh, if it, I, well, I, I can't imagine it's brief, yeah. but it's, it's probably <laughs> tough to expand, explain it all. Well, it was very hard, not going to lie, but with my family behind me and, uh, you know, my, my parents especially, my mom and dad was always pushing me to, to just keep going, you know. I always had thoughts of, you know, like regret, or not regret, but like, Thoughts of dang, I'm never gonna play again. But with my parents there with me and my family pushing me behind, um, I just kept going, put my head down, just kept working, and that was it. And now that the time is in college football is here for you, like what what, what motivates you now for the next steps and and having success here at BYU, off the field, on the field? What what kind of fuels you now? Um, I just fuels me now. Uh, I just. Still thinking about my family, you know, for the, everything's for the family. So uh, I just like to put my head down and work. I, I don't really talk a lot, but I only talk on the field. That's the only time you'll hear me talk, but that's it. Really, I just, my family motivates me to, to, to be the best I can, and that's it.
How much is, in the focusing on the field and practices here, how much is the coaching staff thrown at you and, and these other freshmen and kind of the, how deep is this playbook that Jay Hill throws at you yeah. guys? Uh, it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. At the, at the start, I was, you know, in my thoughts a lot for the first couple of practices. But as I got more reps and, and more reps in practice, it, it came along easy because uh, in high school, we, we actually ran like kind of the same stuff. So, so I, I was picking it up kind of fast. Last few things here with Ethan from Osceola. So what's kind of your, your goals that you have for year one here at BYU? Um, I say work, work my way up on the depth chart. At least play special teams, you know, make make the travel squad at least, and that's that's it for now. But I think I'm heading in the right direction. Do you think you can help generate a pass rush for this BYU defense that's that struggled in that front? I mean, that's an area of that BYU wants to get better at this year. Yeah, I feel like I can contribute a lot. So, uh, and we actually put in a package too, and I'm 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 a one in that package. So I'm very grateful for that. But I'm ready for whatever comes. Well, Ephraim, best of luck uh, here in spring ball and wishing nothing but the best. It's a pleasure talking, and we'll, we'll keep tabs on you and looking forward to seeing you in your BYU career. Yes, sir. I'm thank, thank you.